Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am finally doing my SAS haul. I really, really do apologize. I wish I was able to film this on the day that I purchased this stuff, Saturday, day one. Um, but I was on my bachelorette trip and it just wasn't really possible. And then we were traveling all day yesterday. And then I tried to film yesterday and post, but I just looked a wreck. I was a wreck. I took multiple naps throughout the day. We got home around like one and then we did get a new puppy. My mom picked him up from the airport on Saturday and kept him till Sunday. So we picked him up like as soon as we came home. So it has just been crazy. My dog that we've had for a little less than a year, she is not doing the best. I feel awful. She is very jealous. She's trying to adapt. Today is definitely better than last night was but it's just gonna take time. Um, so there's just a lot going on. I work I work tomorrow and I haven't worked in like almost two weeks um, just cause of the trip and everything. So it has just been hectic and I wanted to film this today. I was, thank goodness, able to go to my two stores here in my hometown. Um, so I will go ahead and get started, um, but I was on my trip, so we were planning on getting to the outlet when they opened. It wasn't an actual Bath & Body Works outlet, it was just like a standalone in and outlet uh, mall, I guess you call it. So it was the closest one to where we were staying, it was like five miles probably, and we planned on getting breakfast and having all this stuff done before we went, and that just didn't work out. We were up till like 3 a.m. We overslept, but we literally pulled into the parking lot of Bath & Body Works at 9.59, and then we ended up just getting Dunkin' for breakfast afterwards, which worked out because it was literally right by the Bath & Body Works, but um, my attention was not all there when I was at SAS. I wasn't able to keep up with everybody's postings because we were just so busy down there. We jammed so much into three days. So I couldn't really watch YouTube videos. I wasn't really on Instagram. So I really didn't know what I was doing. Um, and all my friends were there. So I was trying to just hang out with them and like make it all fun. So I wasn't able to like undividedly pay attention to what I was looking at or what was going on. I missed a couple things. That's why I was very like adamant about going today. Also, I got out of jury duty, which I literally found out yesterday um because my mail still goes to my parents house and she said that I was they sent a letter saying that I was excused my mom did so I went today went to both of my stores the mall store and the standalone store that is new to me and um I hope that this video doesn't seem all that crazy I had the puppy up here I tried to film while he was up here so I just put him away because it's hot upstairs. Um, so I put him downstairs in his crate because I just constantly have to watch him and he's chewing on everything because he's teething. He is 16 weeks old. He's just a ornery handful. So I just put him downstairs for now. So I'm sorry, you guys will see him eventually. I put him in the video that I was trying to film, but like I said, memory was full and yeah. I'm hearing him whine downstairs and it's giving me anxiety. <laughs> okay, I think he's okay. All right, we will go ahead and get started. I'm gonna try and do everything like in a like time order, like whatever you call that, in order of like what store I went to like last to most recently. So everything that I got was 75% off on Saturday and I have my 20% off coupon. So the only two items I will show you first that I did not get on 75% off, they were, there are two three wick candles. They were on sale for $11.95 and I had my 20% off coupon and I didn't decide until I was literally checking out that I was going to get these. Um, so like I said, my mind was just not there and I just, panicked and grabbed stuff. So I picked up Pink Petal Tea Cake. Uh, this has notes of pink rose petals, pound cake, and vanilla glaze. I honestly would not have picked this up if it wasn't for the hype that is surrounding this candle. Um, and you can tell I wasn't really paying attention because I picked up one that has a package with like a bubble on the label, which is really no big deal. But if I was like by myself and probably like at home, I probably would have paid more attention. Um, I'm not a fan of rose scents, but this to me smells like pink lilac and vanilla, kind of. They could be cousins. I wouldn't say like sisters, but probably cousins. Um, so it kind of smells like that and I did like that candle. So as long as this has a strong throw, I will be happy with it. Um, it's just not a scent that I would get if 
I didn't know the hype about it, but I do and I didn't want to miss out and it sell out or anything. So I picked it up. I don't think I'm going to exchange. I kind of thought about it, but I think I'm going to keep it and burn it eventually and see. One that I'm extremely excited for and I might pick up backups of is Hot Fudge Drizzle. This has notes of rich melted chocolate, vanilla bean, and a dash of brown sugar. I was going to pick up a hot cocoa and cream candle before I saw this one. And I kind of forgot that these were like releasing for SAS because like I said, I just was not all there. Like I knew they were coming out, but I wasn't thinking about it. So thankfully grabbed it. This just smells so good. I love chocolatey candles. I'm so excited to have this in my collection. Um, I'm glad that I picked up this versus hot cocoa and cream because it's still in that same like scent family with the chocolate but it smells so good and I'm so happy to have that so I paid like nine dollars and some change for those so then I'll move on I picked up three shower gels for my fiance he loves bath and body Works shower gel and I was so surprised that they were 75% off like right out the gate because I feel like men's body care is so finicky with SAS like it just takes forever for them to reduce the price and there might only be like one cent you can ever find but I found three and the one I think is new to him so teakwood Atlantic and then the new one that he just hasn't had is suede he really really likes this one so I kind of wish I got two but he wasn't with me so I'm just I'm glad that I was able to get him three because he just really really enjoys their shower gels and he was very excited that I picked those up for him so then um we'll move on to hand soaps so I really really liked the brunch collection in all forms hand soap body care all that so they had some gentle gel I usually like foaming but the foaming soaps they had were just not this not as good as these scents were so I picked up two vanilla cloud and two of the peach prosecco macaroon now this scent was on my list for my SAS wish list for the shower gel because I need it to complete my set. So I know I really, really like this scent and I have found the shower gel pretty much at every location um, that I've been, three stores, and it's 50% off and there's a good bit of supply. So I'm really, really trying to hold off till it goes 75% off, but we will see. So four hand soaps, really good because I don't have all that much space for them. And it just takes me and my fiance forever to go through a single hand soap. So I didn't want to go crazy, but they were like $1.72 or something with the 75% off and the coupon. So I was very, very happy about that. Then I picked up these two Fresh Getaway Perfume Minis. They came out to $2.50 a piece. So I was pretty happy with that. Um, and there's been a good bit of hype with the this scent. Um, people says it say, say that it smells like a rich yacht like you're on a yacht or on a boat or like it just smells very fancy and like high class so I'm glad that I found it in the perfumes on 75% off I'm very glad to have them but I was just trying to get these and not get the full body care because I didn't know if I needed it or not but that's all I'm gonna say for now um then a random thing a vanilla be noel whipped sugar body scrub um I said I was gonna try not to buy these but I do like this formula I had it in uh, winter candy apple and really really enjoyed it so it was like four dollars or no it was three dollars with my 20 percent off coupon which is just such a good deal so I did pick one up um my close friend really really likes bath and body work sugar scrubs so I was honestly more excited for her to get her hands on I think she got like three or four um so I just picked up one but super happy that we were able to find this for her and then I got one um, then I picked up a Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow Shower Gel. I have this in the Moisturizing Body Wash and the Lotion. Um, I prefer shower gels, so I'm glad that I found this. Um, but when I came home, I was a little bit disappointed that I didn't get the Fine Fragrance Mist because for some reason I thought when I found this at the outlet um, that I had picked it up, but I didn't. So that was like on my list for today when I went. But super happy that I found it. I had no interest in getting this when it came out. But then when I heard all the good things about it, I kind of had like a fear of missing out on it. So I'm so glad that I have it now. And it does smell really, really good. And I think it's more of like a all year round scent than just a Christmas scent. And when it came out during Christmas, I just wasn't in that mindset. So next we'll move on. I don't know if all if these were in my wish list, especially the scent. I need to rewatch it. I just haven't had time. But I did get a full set of Snowflakes and Cashmere in the Faceted. I think this 
packaging is really good like really really cute i am not a fan of faceted particularly i'm not head over heels for it but i think it really really works with this scent um the color is beautiful it just looks really classy and i'm super happy that i found it i fell in love with this scent a while ago and i'm super excited to have this for the fall and winter time and I am trying to get more body lotions, but body creams are perfectly fine for me in the winter. So I did pick that set up for 75% off. I found a white t-shirt shower gel, which I was very excited about because I needed this to complete my collection. Um, so I'm very much into the fresh scents right now. So super happy to have found that. Then another piece that completed a collection of mine is the joy sugar snickerdoodle this sold out incredibly quick at my stores so to be able to find it at this outlet store um was super super exciting so super happy to have that then i think this was on my wish list i wanted gangnam and i got the shower gel the body lotion and the fine fragrance mist some of the mist had a silver top but i liked the blue better so i got that one and Funny enough, when I tried to film my video where I looked a hot mess um, yesterday, I looked at my receipt because I was like talking about the prices and everything, which is why I have like almost everything like memorized to a point. Um, and I was charged full price for this body lotion. Um, so I went in today and I was kind of scared of if they were going to be able to fix that issue. Um, they did refund me like, I think with the coupon, it was like $10. And then that was obviously like being charged full price. So they refunded me like the eight dollars and some change or whatever so i did get this for 75 percent off as well um so the whole set for 75 percent off super excited about that then something that i really wanted online i wanted to use a reward for it but i don't think i had enough for it um but happy easter tutti frutti candy i was super happy that they brought this out in full size um, body care and I really really wanted it the packaging's cute I didn't hear anything amazing about like the scent itself but I am super happy that I have it it's just a fruity candy scent I'm really really happy that I found this um, for 75% off they didn't have the shower gel but I'm completely okay with that um, so yeah uh, I don't even know I don't think I talked about this in my wish list because um, my store usually with like the more holiday stuff like specific holidays, not so much Christmas, but the other ones like 4th of July and everything. It's just so hard to get those collections. Um, now that we have a second standalone store, uh, I think it's going to be much better because that's kind of what I'm seeing so far. Next, I picked up the fresh coconut and cotton shower gel and mist. I was really looking for some sort of moisturizer, but they didn't have any on Saturday when I went. But I heard a lot of good things about this scent and it kind of shocked people. They didn't think it'd be as good as it is. So super happy that I got my hands on it and I think it smells amazing I'm very very happy with it oh, I might get a backup of this I never really thought about it but right now I'm thinking it's just so good so then I will move on to the stuff I bought at my mall today um I feel like I'm missing oh oh okay okay there's just three things that I picked up at my mall because I, I was thinking with that price adjustment situation, I had four things in my bag, but I only purchased three. I did find the fresh coconut and cotton moisturizer. I didn't care if it was a lotion or body cream. So I got the body cream. So now I have a full set of this. Very, very excited about it. Um, I don't think I'm going to use this right away. So it's fine to have a body cream instead of a lotion, but I just wanted the full set so whatever I could find so I got the body cream and I think it was like the only one or the only one that I at least saw um it was a lot digging through those red bins I'm very back and forth on if I I don't think I like them to be quite honest I just don't but um found that um the good thing about the bin which is with this next thing you find these one-off things that people probably would have grabbed if they were just sitting out but I found this and I was so excited. Um, it must have been like a somebody bought it online and like returned it. But it is Berry Waffle Cone in the shower gel. I have been hunting these down. Um, it still has the seal on it. I found at last SAS a bunch of the body creams and mists of this. So I needed shower gels. I only have one. 
in my collection right now. So this is my second. Um, I was super happy that they were going to re-release this um, this time around, but it is online exclusive and I won't be buying online most likely until they do 75% off candles, which I'm really, really hoping. Um, so that would be a reason I would buy online. Um, I didn't use my 20% off code online, so I'm trying to not do it unless the candles come out. Then the last thing, which I grabbed as soon as I walked in the store, I saw it. I got Gangnam in the perfume. This is the 2.5 fluid ounce bottle. Um, I'm not going to take it out of the packaging because you guys probably know what it looks like, but $12 for this. It was the last one there. It's the only one I've seen at all three stores. So I'm super happy to get this because I do really, really like the scent since I'm so into clean, fresh scents right now. So those are the three things I got from the mall. Then I will move on to items that I got at the standalone store. So I know my controversy with single wick candles. I try not to buy them. I try to burn through the ones I have but I just can't help myself when it comes to certain scents. So a sales associate was helping me out and she did kind of like uh, talk me into buying these. Um, I, I would have bought these, but there's, there's one specifically that she kind of talked up and I bought. So I'll start with the one that it's worth it to get a single wick for me in this scent because I know it's really really hard to find a three wick in it and when I burned the single wick that I had I told you guys in my empties video project use it up I fell in love with it it was so strong for a single wick and to have like two or even just the one filled my house but I burned like three in different rooms but I could tell that this was the strongest throwing one out of the three so I picked up cereal and cartoons I picked up three of them um, this smells like Cinnamon Toast Crunch cereal. It is so good. I'm so happy that they had it. Uh, she, I told her that I would take like a good bit of them. She found a fourth one and I just said, I think three will be okay. So it smells amazing. I'm so happy to have this. This is where single wicks are okay for me. So I'm not going to try and get these out of my collection like I usually do because I'm okay with having these. They are amazing. Then the one I was talked into was Rainbow Confetti. She said this smelled like another cereal. She didn't really know which one, but I would definitely say like Fruity Pebbles, Tricks, or like Fruit Loops. It's just a very fruity cereal. It smells amazing. Um, I probably should have got two of these. Um, I'm planning on going back to the stores on Wednesday. Um, I work tomorrow, so Wednesday, and then maybe I'll see if they still have it, and then I'll probably grab one or two more it, it smells so good. I, I'm a sucker for the cereal scents. I love anything gourmand. So super excited about that. Then I also picked up, oh, this was on my wish list and I didn't think I was going to find it. I got the Pomeranian pocket back holder. I was going to get like two, like one for me and one, I specifically got this for my grandmother. She has a Pomeranian and loves him and it's just so cute. So this is originally $9.95. I paid about $5 for it on 50% off, but I'm so happy that I found it. Um, my friend, act my friend's little sister actually saw it and thought of me and said, hey Paige. And I was like, oh, how did you know I needed that? So it's so stinking cute. If I see another one, I probably will get it for myself. I just don't really use pocket back holders. I just throw one single one in my purse, just plainly. But maybe just have this on like my work bag or something, just silly. It's so cute and I'm so happy I found it. Then I picked up, I'll leave this one thing out because I think I have other stuff to go with it. I picked up only one hand soap in the foaming. This is sea salt and lime. This smells super good and refreshing. I really, really like this one. I'm glad I got it. The greenish liquid just looks so pretty. So 75% off for that. Very happy with that. Then the final bag. So I found the fragrance mist for Hope Winter Peach Marshmallow. So I have the full set and I'm so excited. Moisturizing body wash and regular body wash, um, body lotion, and now the mist. Super happy to have found this. Um, there was a good bit at my standalone store. So super happy with that. Then I got, I ended up getting after I thought about it, the full set of Fresh Getaway. Um, so I have the two perfumes and now the body lotion, shower gel, and mist. Uh, the mist, I had to ask the sales associate and she had to look underneath the thing to get it. But 
Um, it doesn't smell, honestly, that special to me out of the bottle. But I just hear such good things. And when I was watching videos last night, I was talked into it by the YouTubers that I watched. And I'm super happy that I have the set because fresh and clean, I have a ton of options for fresh and clean now, I feel like. And I'm very happy with that. Then the last three things, as you can see with this paper here, the Rewit candles. They're all the same scent, but I don't care. I paid $6.12, I think, for these. And I was just happy to find three wick candles. So the scent is Salted Ocean Air. This has scent notes of fresh ocean mist, warm summer winds, and beach musk. It is one of those made in U.S. of U.S. and non-U.S. parts. You can tell it's like from another country or like an outlet or whatever when they have that. It's like a different packaging on the bottom than like a usual candle is. Um, so... This is just like a fresh beachy scent. Salted ocean air. Smells like I'm at the beach. And I was just at the beach. And I wish I was back at the beach. So I'm very happy with it. So there's one. There's the second one. And then lastly, the third one. So I'm super excited that I got these. There was there was a lot more because even when I took these ones off, they restocked it with the same scent. Um, I was going to go a little bit more crazy with it, but we all know how SAS usually goes. Um, this It could be, I like the top on this, by the way. Um, SAS usually goes like week by week. They knocked certain things down in price. They'll move from the 50% off tables to the 75. And I just didn't want to get like, six or eight of the same candle because when I do that like my collection right now I have so many repeats in my collection because of SAS getting them 75% off which I still enjoy burning them I just I use I try to like use those up first before my other ones and it's nice if I fall in love with it that I have backups but if it's just kind of like a eh candle it's kind of like I'm just burning it to get through it because I have a couple of them um, so I figured three will do it. If it's the only candle I find all SIS, it's okay. I got three for six bucks. I'm super happy with it, but it's only day three. I'm really hoping that it's like normal SISs where we will get an online bulk of $6 candles. Well, they've raised the price, so we might end up paying like seven or whatever, um, with like the 29.50 candles, whatever that would come down to. Um, but I'm trying to do the math in my head. It'd probably be like $8 max or whatever, which is still a good deal. So we'll see. Hopefully they knock more candles down, especially like my mall store had a good bit of like winter fall scents. And let me know if you have tried. They were on the $11.95 table, but I think that promo ends like today maybe or something. Um, I'm not sure. I saw something about it, but maybe when that goes away, I want to know if like if I price check them if they might come down to the $75 or 75% off price point if you're getting what I'm saying. Like they're Christmas winter candles, fall candles that other people are getting at 75% off, but they're on my 11.95 table. If I go up to the register, will they come down to 6 $7? at the 75% off price point. If you know, please comment down below and let me know um, because I will go in Wednesday or even maybe tomorrow after work, um, which is hard because I literally get home. Like I get into my area because I drive an hour for work. I get into my area like exactly when my store closes. So I have like minutes left. But if you guys have tried that and they have come down to the price point of 75% off, um, let me know because I will definitely try um, I probably should have tried today, but I don't know. Just, I was, I was trying to get to the other store after the mall. So let me know. Um, but let me know in the comment comments below, uh, any cool things that you found, any like one-off gems or even just like your most exciting purchase. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and I'm sure I will film more SIS hauls to come. Bye.